This is the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 16. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Call halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash, which is given all praise to the Most High, name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida, and I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And in this video, we're going to touch on this rapper, um, NBA Young Boys Tattoo. Okay, this is. Um, this dude recently came out. Oh, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Salaki. But yeah, this just recently came out, I believe like three days ago, where this this guy got a tattoo. And this guy, NBA Youngboy, you know, he's a very known rapper. He's, you know, a, a lot of the youth, you know, the younger Jakes um, um, listen to him. Personally, I can never. You now, he got a few good songs, you know, that, that, that I may listen to. I can think of a few off the top of my head. But, um,. Most of his music, I just can't, you know, it, it, it don't sound right to me. And ultimately what he is doing is he's pushing um, the, a demonic vibration to the youth. You know, and he said to himself that, you know, ha, 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 you know, what he's putting in these people's ears, you know, and he feels bad. He, you know, I did a video, I, mean, I did a few videos by him or whatever for feeling bad about about the things that he, he, he rap about. And he know he knows the effect of it that is heaven. And pretty much the guy's just battling demons, man. He got a lot of demons on him, all right? In that industry, they got him, you know, painting his nails and wearing makeup now and stuff. And he recently got this tattoo that spells out help and big dark letters on his chest, okay? Which is that this right here is a um a call for help, all right? So let me bring this back because these, these, these rappers sell their soul and, uh, they, you know, they, they, they want the riches and the fame and the money or whatever. And, um, you know, the accolades, the cars, the clothes, the shoes, the women, and they find out that it's not what they, what they thought it was. And, and, you know, I go into these topics because, you know, I actually used to make music and I almost felt for, 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 for this, um, this trap or this snare that a lot of people fall for. So let's bring this back and I'll play the video. It says Matthew chapter 16, verse 26. For what is a man profited? What did it profit you? If he shall gain the whole world, and that's what these rappers have gained, the whole world, you know, they got all the money in the world, all the fame, any woman they can ever want, it says, and lose his own soul, but he lost his soul. Okay, he lost his soul, and this is why this individual is so distraught and, and, and messed up. You know, he's battling a lot of demons, and a lot of these rappers are battling demons where they get all these tattoos and with them dark shades because they, 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 they sold out to Satan, and they have become agents for Satan. It says, what shall a man give in exchange for his soul, right? What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? So let me let this video play. NBA Youngboy appears to be crying out for help with his latest tattoo. Hey, it's Asia Sky here for Hip Hop DX, and get this. NBA Youngboy has sparked concern among fans after sharing a photograph of his latest tattoo, which many perceive to be a sign of his deteriorating condition. On Friday, September 8th, Youngboy posted an image of his new ink, which spells out the letters H-E-L-P down the middle of his chest. Without any further context, this unsurprisingly gave way to a range of responses online. Under an academic's post resharing the picture, one fan wrote, This is literally the most literal cry for help I've ever seen, but y'all won't pay attention until bro gone. Another person wrote, Someone gotta check on his mental health. There were also others who decided to troll in the comment section, with one person writing, Bro tattoos look like a middle school desk. This is not the first time young boys' tattoos have been the topic of discussion. In fact, back in late July, when he dropped the video for Parasites with I Love McConan, fans spotted a new tattoo on NBA young boys' left arm. It was a pink and black ink tattoo, which appeared to be a nail polish bottle, which is an accessory that Youngboy has been wearing a lot recently and is now associated with his image. Youngboy has also been known to fire back at those who criticize. There you go. All right, the guy got his nails painted, we've been, and we've done videos on this, okay? The guy be painting his nails, and this is because when you're in that industry, you got to do certain things to keep getting, to keep that money coming in, man, to, to, to please those elites. Let's play some more. For his fashion choices and for painting his fingernails, but he has yet to share any thoughts about the tattoo. You can talk about my nails all you want. Bitch, I know somebody who wish they could paint their nails right. I know somebody who wish they could paint their nails right now. 
So what are your thoughts on NBA Youngboy's latest tattoo? And do you think it indeed is a cry for help? Let us know in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Somebody who wish they could paint their nails right now. So what are your thoughts on NBA? So there you go. Um, yeah, I'm going to use that for the, for the cover. But um, yeah, this individual's going through it, man. You know, and and, this, and and that's the reason why it says, Mark chapter 8, verse 35, it says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel is the same shall save it. And a lot of brothers in this truth have, have, have had talents, you know, whether it be sports, whether it be music, what, you know, whatever it may be. Brothers have, have, have had opportunities to go into that particular industry, these particular industries, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has kept us from this, man. The Lord has kept us from that, that lifestyle in that world because it's wicked. It's absolutely wicked, man. And I actually, I remember um, when I started making musical, when I was making musical, whatever, um, I started to get all these, you know, these, these different deals and contracts, you know, sent to me and stuff. And I was like, you know, I, I, I need to understand more. I need to understand more about this industry before I just jump jump into it. And I started looking up different stuff about, um, you know, the music industry exposed, hip hop exposed. And if you ever look up stuff like that, it, it, it was it was a lot more uh, videos about it back in the day. But now, you know, you you know how how, how uh, YouTube is. But they don't, you know. But you can still find videos about what goes on in that industry, and you and you will completely understand why this man has put has has put this tattoo on on him, man. All right. You you battle all different kind of spirits and and and, and really you in the hands of Satan when you go into and in, in, into that world. So it says, um, and that's another thing too. Like you know, like what well, it says, who shall whosoever shall seek to save his life? Because people will try to save their lives here in their careers. When really, a hey, all we got all we gotta do is give it to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and serve Him. You know, our lives are not our own. You know, you may you you may have aspired to do something growing up as, as a child. And then when you get older, you got you you might have to put 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 that aside and serve your whole shot. Know, even Peter, you know Simon, um, you know, and uh, he was the, you know him and his 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 brother was fishing, and the Lord said, uh, put that down and come and 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 come be fishers of men. You know, pretty much they had to stop what they was doing to come serve your whole bashim you shot, and that's no different, you know, than 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 for us. And a lot of individuals they they will not come serve your whole bashim you shot because they got their own thing going on in, in the world, all right? So verse 36, it says, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? And you have these celebrities that be giving up they, they, uh, they soul and they whole, man, you know? You hear about the black casting couch. They go in there with these, these music executives and, you know, they come out. These music executives be coming out or getting in trouble for molesting people and stuff, man. You know, you got to make certain deals to get those contracts, those multi-million dollar contracts. You got to do certain things, man. Strange for a piece of change. And that should have um, um lasting effects on your spirit, especially us being Jake. You know, Jake is, um, I'm going to grab it. It says, um, let me grab it. Let me grab it, man. Let me grab that real quick. It says, uh, It says, uh, Proverbs chapter twelve, verse twenty six: The righteous is more excellent is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduceth him. Right. So Jake is, you know, um, you know, naturally righteous. You know, you know, we, you know, you know, if you add your average Drake, your average Jake ain't gonna be doing some or some damn mo shit or, you know, um, you know, shooting up schools and none of crazy shit like that. The average Jake is, is they, they know better than that. Because we are the righteous, but Esau is the wicked. Okay, and the wicked seduces them to do these wicked things and push these wicked things so they can further control them and ultimately destroy the masses. Because these uh, celebrities, they have a lot of, um, they have a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of influence and pull among the younger Jakes. So they'll, you know, when they sell out, then guess what? They got to do certain things. You know, to to show their allegiance to that group, or you know, or you know, great another great example is fucking Doja Cat, man. You know, she completely gone. So like, yeah, um, I want to grab one more or a few more. Um, I'm thinking about one. It's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, let me grab this. First Timothy chapter six, verse 17, it says, charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high minded, nor trust in uncertain riches. That's uncertain riches, man. All that money, they, 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 they're about to change this damn, <laughs> this currency. This is but in the living power who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. Right. So, you know, we got to charge you and, 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 and let you know, you know, Here, here's what I, well, what I wanted to grab, too. Um, it says, um, beautiful. I'll probably close out with this. It says, uh, first Timothy chapter six, verse three. Oh, I also, I, that's like, I got to grab that about the tattoos. You know, we're not supposed to be even supposed to be getting tattoos, man. He got deep, dark letters, help. And that's going to be, if he wanted to cover it, that's going to be hard to cover up, man. All right. It says, um, first Timothy chapter six, verse three. It says, if any man teach otherwise and consent not to hold some words, even the words of the, of our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing, but doeth about questions and strifes of words, whereof in cometh envy, like it, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil sermonings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness. From such withdraw thyself. So our people they suppose that gain. Is godliness and the Lord said, From such withdraw thyself. Don't be around these individuals. Don't even don't even listen to no fucking young boy, bro. I tell brothers in my camp, hey man, y'all better start listening to that fucking young boy. Now you now if you want to listen to him, you know, whatever. But you gotta understand that hey, this man is pushing a vibration. You know, his musical had you jumping around, acting like how he act, you know, one 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 and to kill somebody. All right. It says, but godliness with contentment is great gain. So to be in a, of a godly spirit, godliness with contentment, being content, okay, is great gain. So serving your help by Shem Shai, being content with what you have. You got a roof over your head. You got clothes on your back. You got food in your stomach. Don't worry about, you know, trying to be the, the, the best rapper in the world or the most richest man in the world. You know, that's uh, all foolishness, man. You know, it's childish, really. It says, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having and having food and raiment, let us therewith be content. Right? You got food, you got clothes in your back. Be content. It says, um, I don't know what the hell that is. But it says, um, but they that will be rich and that it's like, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. Right? So the people. These these rappers and these ball players and these actors and whatnot, they're rich, but they're falling into temptations and snares. You know, it says into many foolish and hurtful lust, which drown men in destruction and perdition. And that's why this guy is calling for help. Because he is being drowned in perdition and destruction. Okay. His soul is all, you know, out of whack. You know, his spirit ain't right. It says... For the love of money is the root of all evil. Not money is the root of all evil. Scripture says how, how money is a defense. But the love of that money, when you do anything for it, you know, you'll cross all kind of boundaries and, you know, um, throw, 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 throw out your own morals for this money. Which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. And this is what NBA young boy is going through. He's being pierced through with many sorrows. All right, that's why he called now for help. Getting a little dry, but it says, "Um, but thou, O man of God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, flee these things, and follow out the righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses." Right. And that's what it's about, man. Ultimately serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, not your own self, okay? Not your own wills, you know. Doing the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. 
verse 11, it says, when I was a child, I speak as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put child, I put away childish things. And that's, that's us as well. You know, we had to put away those childish things of wanting to be this and wanting to be that in this world. And we had to come and serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Remember, hey, remember your creator in the days of thy youth. Don't be out here trying to be, you know, this, that, and the third. You know, and when you were a young man, you, you got all these dreams and aspirations. You know, you, you want to be this, you want to be that. But the most important thing you can be is a is a, is a, is a prophet and a man of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, a, a, a man or a woman for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, let me grab this and I'll close out. Um, Slovakia. First, I mean, uh, Leviticus 19, verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. And you see here, he has print these marks upon him. Okay, he has print these marks upon him, man. Okay. This your boy. Going through it. Battling demons, you know. And he's printing help on his chest. Like if you pass by a car and you got a kid in the back that's being kidnapped. And they may, and they may put a paper up against the window that says help. You know, you know, you, 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 you know, you're going to have to call somebody. You know, you, hey, you know, you, you're going to start to worry. So like, whatever, that's what he's doing here. But he can't flat out say nothing because they, they uh, you know, probably off him and take his, you know, all his money or whatever. So, yeah, man. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom. I'm calling Shalom. Bob, Bob, praise, let's be edifying. So, hopefully, I'll let Shalom.